There's a wonderful use of color, don't you think? I'm really just after a new look for my offices next year. Do you know how much I spent on paintings last year? Oh, couldn't imagine. Over four million. But uh, then I sold a few and brought in over six million. Oh, wonderful. I never really think about how much I invest, though. Yeah, it's the art itself that's important, isn't it? No. It's the appreciation. My broker told me I should uh, eliminate my Picassos and uh, pick up some uh, Monets this year. Well, what do you think? I think you should breed rabbits. <laughs> Excuse me? Breed rabbits. Buy pork bellies. Then you could have all day to count your money. Miss Stafford, do you want me to buy this work or not? Frankly, I'd like you to take a walk <laughs> in heavy traffic. There you are. Morning, cereal. Oh, guess what happened last night? I know, I know. I left the milk out, but it didn't spoil. What? So well, that's right. It's fine. No, no, I'm talking about Vicky. What's wrong now? Nothing's wrong. She got engaged last night. You're kidding. No, it's right here in the morning paper. Look. She finally got him. Well, let's call her. Great. You dial. Okay. Wait. What? I forgot to say good morning. Hello. Hi there. Are you, uh... You're in the right place? Who are you? What are you doing here? You look absolutely stunning. Thanks. I like it. <laughs> Good. It's very different from what you usually wear, though. I know. It's kind of daring. Well, I think I need an outfit like this. I'm trying to make a change. Oh, creating a whole new look. A whole new life. <laughs> so if I want a parrot, I'm no, going to get one. will change your mind, believe me. No, I will. Vicky. Oh, hi, Anne Nicole. You told me to come for the fitting. I didn't expect you so early. Yeah, I, I just couldn't wait. <laughs> we were talking about my wedding gown. <laughs> I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'm leaving now with my checkbook. Well, please don't trip on the way. Hey, what was that all about? Idiot. Granted, but you were just about to make him a major sale. What a total bore. Are you all right? No, I'm definitely not all right. What's going on here? I am sick of having to push work to pigs like that. I mean, look at the quality of the work. Look at it. Yes? I'm sick of having to place my quality work in grubby little hands like that. And that's how you see it? And not all the work I have to push is, is like Sam Fowler's. Every day I've got to push ten of questionable quality. So all of that is over now with Sam? Oh, day after day, disgusting little men like Frederick Baxter. And that's the only reason you're so angry? What? Caroline, I've never seen you this upset before. Well, maybe I should have gotten upset quite a long... No! Quite a long... No! Maybe there's something more to this than just the grubby commercial side of the art world. Kaz, you haven't got any idea of what it's like. At least I tried. What do you have there? Something my mother gave to me quite a long time ago. It's really lovely. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a real blessing when my mother died. Caroline. Because she wasn't going to see what a phony her daughter had become. What a bloody liar. Why are you doing this to yourself? I'm the one who should have died, not her. Don't say that. Don't ever say that. Look, why don't you just head off with Fred Baxter to get out of here? Caroline. Just get 
the hell out of here. Caroline? Hey! Caroline! Come on, open up. Let's talk about this. Caroline, open up. We'll talk. Caroline. Caroline. I asked who you were. Take it easy, honey. I didn't know anybody was in here. Well, what is your name? Mrs. McKinnon wanted me to stay here last night. Oh, I knew I was somebody in MJ's room. Oh, I am so sorry. I thought, I, well, I don't really know what I thought. Um, I'm Marley McKinnon, and this is my husband, Jake. Hi. My name's Pilar. Pilar. Welcome. Right. Well, uh, Pilar, would you like to have some uh, soggy cornflakes for breakfast? <laughs> no. Well, really, there's plenty of food. I could get you something. Oh. Just some coffee. Coffee? Sure, I can get you some coffee. What, what happened to your face? Honey, people... Mosquito bite. People generally like, don't like to be quizzed before breakfast. And I'm sorry, I just was wondering if we could do anything. Oh, good. Oh. You've met Pilara. Hi. Just a Hi. second ago. I'm sorry, I had an early morning meeting in the hospital I thought would never end. Yeah? Have you had breakfast? Uh, I don't eat breakfast. Oh, okay. How do you feel? Look, honey, why don't we, uh, why don't we check out this article, huh? What? What? We were gonna call. Call right? Oh, did you see about Vicky? <laughs> yes, I did. I hope they'll be very happy. Oh, me too. I, I want to go call her. Come on, let's go upstairs. All right. Um, nice to meet you, Polara. Yeah. Um... Deca, your son? Jake? No. He's my nephew. And Marley is his wife. She's, uh... She's very, very sweet. Sweet? Yeah. A at first, I thought maybe she was your daughter. You said you, you had a daughter? Yes, I have two. I had three. My daughter, Kathleen, was killed in an accident. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. My littlest daughter, Cheryl, is in college in Washington, D.C., and uh, MJ runs a restaurant in Minneapolis. You were in her room last night. Mm. It's a nice room. All the stuff, it matches. Mm -hmm. I hope you were comfortable. Who's, um, who's Vicky? Vicky. No, oh, Vicky. <laughs> Vicky is, uh, Vicky is Marley's twin sister, who has just gotten engaged. Twin? Huh? You mean there's another one just like her? Well, actually, no. Actually, they're very different. Vicky, I'll be with you as soon as I'm finished with Lisa, Lisa, all right? Lisa, that's a lovely dress. Oh, did you pick that out all by yourself, or did Nicole Donna, help you with I that? Donna, if I wanted your Donna, why don't the two of you just go into my office? I've finished some sketches. They're sitting on my desk. <gasps> oh, oh, good. All right, come on, honey. Vicky? You know, could you go with Mom? I, I Victoria! Vicky, why don't just you just... Just a couple of minutes, please, would you excuse us? Come all on, right. come on, come on. What did you want to say? I want you to know something. Okay. The last time we talked, you said you thought I would hurt Jamie. That's right. And by now, you've heard that he asked me to marry him, and I didn't accept until last night. I was there last night, Vicki. I know the whole well, story. Well, I want you to know why I put off accepting. I don't really care. It was because I don't want to hurt Jamie or me by getting into a marriage that wouldn't work. But now, everything's hunky-dory, huh? Yes. Well, I hope Jamie will be very happy. <laughs> you still don't think this is gonna work, do you? I have my doubts. <laughs> Your whole life being spent with Jamie, going out looking for houses, having dreams together. Do you have a point? Yeah. Jamie has a new future now, and it's with me. There's one thing you should always remember, Vicky. You were second choice. Would you like some tea? Um, 
How long is it gonna take? Why, you got a date? No. I, uh, I rearranged my whole schedule so that I could spend all day with you today. Right. This is not all right? Hey, if that's how you want to spend your day, fine with me. Yep, it is. It takes all kinds. Is there, is there someone that you would rather see? I mean, do you want to call someone? No. I mean, hey, look, if I'm in the way, just let me know. Okay. I will. I want you to know something. I was really very flattered that you came to me for help. I told you, it was nothing. Right. So if you would like to talk today or uh, discuss anything, we've got all day. I was thinking if we went, oh. Hi, Flora, I didn't know you were still here. I am. Hmm, so I see. We just had a little something to eat. Huh? I'll go get my stuff. What is with her? Please don't get your back up. <sighs> I can't help it. I still don't think it was right having to stay here last night. I know. You had your heart set on going to the Snowflake Ball. Yeah, instead, I get to share my dinner with a kid, a young woman, who looks at me like she hates my guts. Vince, that has nothing to do with you personally. Please don't take it that way. She's just very scared. Oh, she blesses the whole world with that attitude? If we give her enough time, it will fade. Does that mean she's going to stay here for dinner again tonight? Well, actually, it's... Uh... More than just dinner. I've been wanting to talk to you about that. I think I'm gonna hate what comes next. I would like her to spend a few days with us. Maybe more. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, I really think Nicole oh. was right. You don't need the veil. Yeah, but the lace is so beautiful. I know it is. I loved it, too. <sighs> Well, you know, this whole wedding is going to be beautiful. Oh, I know, it is going to be the wedding of the year. Oh, you know, I've even been thinking, maybe we can get a soprano from the Met or maybe the organist from the Mormon Mother, tabernacle. it sounds like Princess Di's wedding. Well, what's wrong with that? She wasn't eight months pregnant when she walked down the oh, aisle. Oh, who cares about that? I do. I kind of want a small, quaint wedding. You want a small wedding? Why? Because I'm not. All right, all right, all right. It can be small, but, but it'll be very um, opulent. Meaning what? Well, meaning that we'll have a, a limited guest list, but we'll okay. have gorgeous dresses and flowers. All right, sounds okay to me. Okay? Honey, it's going to be magnificent. Oh, my gosh, I've even got to plan the engagement part. Oh, let's skip that part. Oh, are you kidding? Absolutely not. Now, listen, I have been giving this some thought, uh, and I think maybe the Cafe Paradise uh, would really be quite wonderful. No, nah, it's not even open yet. Well, it will be soon. Oh. Anyway, uh, we've got to have it someplace local, yeah. because we're not having it at Tops. No, absolutely no, not. No, no, I mean, I could just see me going in and asking Felicia if we could have no, a party please, at No, please, don't talk about Felicia. Reminds me of Lisa. Right, right. Speaking of which, yeah. what were you two talking about this morning? Oh, what else? Jamie. And? And she thinks he's being shortchanged. Oh, honey, what, because he's marrying you? Mm hmm Oh, I think her exact words were, uh, second choice. Look, don't let her fool you. She is dying inside because Jamie left her for oh, you. Right. You're right. Now, you have to get one thing straight. Jamie has forgotten about her, and you need to do that, too. Right. Right. <gasps> oh, my gosh, we've got to get over to Brandenburg's and see about those announcements. Uh, you know what? I'm going to let you take care of that. Uh, Victoria, you have to make the decision. Yeah, but I don't really have an intimate relationship with typeset, so I, I, and I really need to rest. All right. Hi. All right. Maybe you are right about right. that. Um, I can handle it. And sure. I'll tell you what, I've okay. got to call the florist and check oh, on fine. that, too. <laughs> oh, you know, 
sometimes I think planning a wedding is so much more fun oh. than the wedding itself. I know. Anyway, I'll see you really soon. Okay. okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Realtors. Realtor. Uh, estate brokers. Um, oh, how am I ever going to find them? Oh. What's going on in there? Listen, I know how upset you are. But why don't we why don't we have a little chat? Okay? What do you say, mate? Do they call women mate when they're down under? Oh, that doesn't sound right. I mean when they're in the down under. Caroline, come on. You I'm I'm really starting to get scared here. Caroline? Please, open the door and we'll talk about this. Come on. Caroline! Hey! Ah! Caroline? Caroline! Oh, Caroline. Oh. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yes, I'm definite that I want a three-bedroom. Well, of course, I'll tell you why I chose you. You see, my friends were looking for an apartment, and they said that Better Realty was so helpful. Well, at least I think it was better. Were you the ones who sold Dr. Jamie Frame and his, his uh, girlfriend Lisa a house? Right. Right. Okay, well, I was wondering if it would be convenient to meet with me this afternoon. Oh, you could. Well, that would be fabulous, Mrs. Glick. Yes, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Finally. Okay, better. Realty. Why are sisters getting married? Yeah. Can you believe it? I am so happy for you. I'm pretty happy for myself. Now, why didn't you call me and tell me? Hmm? Well, you know, I was just about to call you, pick up the phone and tell you, but now you're here, so you might as well come over and sit down and talk to me here. You know, I knew that everything was going to work out for you. Mm, you've always been the voice of optimism. As soon as Jamie called me up on the phone and he said, I am going to be Vicky's Lamaze coach, nobody else, I knew he was a goner. Well, for that, I anoint you the matron of honor at my wedding. Oh, what's the matter? Well, it, it's just that I was talking to Michael, and he said that the wedding is going to happen so soon. Well, yeah, I don't really have time for a long engagement, you know? I know, but I may still be in the hospital. What? You have to go back that soon? I go in on Friday. Oh, no, you're going to be there for Christmas. Well, that's what it looks like. Well, then how long do you have to be there? I'm not really sure. It's really uh, up to the doctors. Well, then look at it this way. It'll all be worth it because he's going to come in after the surgery and say, Mrs. McKinnon, you can have a baby whenever you want one. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah, so having dinner off a hospital tray won't be that bad for Christmas. Yes, of course. So what's wrong? What if the laparotomy isn't... Marley McKinnon, don't you think that way? Because everything is going to turn out perfect. Well, let's hope. You know, we both have something to celebrate this Christmas. I'm getting married, and you're going to be able to have all the babies you want.
You're really very sweet. Oh, yeah? Well, if I'm so sweet, why didn't you let me in the door? That's what I'd like to know. I've not been the same, you know. I do know. But that's no reason to take it out on a poor piece of sculpture. Sorry about that. It was a rotten piece of sculpture anyway. Yeah, but, you know, a good left hand is priceless. Besides, you scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry. Next time, I'll, I'll listen. Is that a promise? I'm really glad you were here. So am I. You might have trashed all the art in the joint. It's all right. You don't owe me anything. It's, it's just that you stayed and you bashed the door in. <laughs> I did, didn't I? You helped me. Caroline, you may be a pain in the festeras, but uh, I care about you. You must know that. thought I would stop down and see if maybe you wanted to... Caroline, your hand. Yes, she had a little accident here. No, I didn't. What happened? I had a perfectly miserable day. Well, it looks that way. Yeah, I locked myself in most of this room. I mean, dumb mistake, huh? Well, what happened? I worked myself up into such a state that I smashed the sculpture and nearly sliced my arm off in the bargain. Well, it's terrible. Do you think maybe you need to see a doctor? No, Kaz was a dear. And I mean, this is good as a doctor, isn't it? Where did you get my bill? Right. Uh, listen, uh, I think I'd better lock the door to the gallery so that people don't come walking in while we're cleaning up the mess, okay? Be back in a second. You sure you're all right? You look a little pale. I feel pretty silly. Well, we all have bad days. I once tried to stuff an entire bolt of velvet into the toilet. <laughs> Why are you being nice to me? You're hurt. I've never been nice to you. Cass told me about your mother. Yeah. I know how that feels. When my mother died, I felt like the whole world caved in on me. Really? When was that? Oh, I was just a kid. But I can still remember when they told me that she couldn't get out. Get out? Oh, there was a fire. Oh, good heavens. All of the energy went out of me when she died. I couldn't move. I couldn't even cry. Not for the longest time. But you got over it. Oh, yeah. And you will, too. Oh, I wonder. Cass told me that your mother had been sick for quite a while. Yeah, but before that, she was a real dynamo. She was a wonderful mother. Oh, mine, too. When I was five, I was sick. She read every single book I owned because she said when I, when she was finished, <laughs> I'd be well. I was. <sighs> magic. Yeah. Mothers know about magic. Would you like to see a photo of her? Oh, sure. It's here in my pocket. It's taken yeah. years ago. It's a locker. She was beautiful. You know, you look just like her. I do, I? Oh, absolutely. I miss her. I know. This is not exactly what I expected for my Christmas stocking. I know. Why have we suddenly become a home for battered women? It's one girl, Vince. And why are you caught up in her problems? Because I care. Mary, you can't bring them all home. She gets to me. Oh, I know. She's scared, and she's been beaten. 
a lot of times, and still everything is, hey, I'm fine, everything is cool. She reminds me of MJ. She is nothing like MJ. Oh, please don't get upset. Now look, MJ went through some tough times, but she didn't wander around sneering at people like this one does. Please, please don't raise your voice. She is nothing like MJ. All right. She is nothing like MJ. Mary, you have been saying that you should have been here for our kids. That's not it. Oh, isn't it? Now, aren't you helping her because you want to make up for MJ? Vince, this is Christmas time. Yeah, I know. And you're the one who always says Christmas is more than presents and going to midnight mass. Yeah. Christmas is caring about people who are less fortunate than we are. And you're saying that this is my chance to uh, put my money where my mouth is? Something like that. She may wind up hurting you. I'll take my chances. Right now, she has nowhere to go. So, uh, what do you say? Oh, Mrs. McKinnon. Oh, sorry. That's all right. That's all right. Did you want to say something? Uh, no big deal. Uh, Laura. Oh. We would, we would like you to, uh, stay here for a little while longer, you know, I mean, until you, until you get things straightened out. Yeah, maybe. I guess so. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? She didn't even say thank you. Okay. I will say it for her. Thank you. Is a good man. Uh. Oh, oh. Hi, Hi. Miss Hadley. I, well, I was just. Are you on your way out? Uh, I'm not in a hurry. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Um, Lisa, I don't want this to be awkward. This has nothing at all to do with Vicky. Hey, you're your own person. What's up? I'm going to the hospital on Friday to have a laparotomy. What's that? It's another exploratory surgery, and they go in and they look at the fallopian tubes and see if they're scarring, and they also look at the ovaries. The first surgery wasn't enough. Mm. Well, I hope it goes well. Thank you. Are you scared? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted the surgery, but um, it's not always successful. What happens if it doesn't work? Then I probably won't ever be able to have a child. Oh, Marley, I wish there was something I could say or do. Well, or... actually, there is, and that's why I'm here. Well, how can I help? I don't want this to sound at all strange to you. It's just that I'll do anything right now. What is it? I know that you're psychic. Well, sometimes. And I guess I was wondering if that means that you can look into the future. Oh, Marley, I'm not a fortune teller. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't you mean see, it. It's, it's not something I know how to control. I get these feelings, and, and sometimes I know things. Oh, I see. Then it really isn't fair to ask this of you, then. What did you want to know? Lisa, is there any way you can know if the surgery will be successful? Sydney yeah, but we need the door repaired as soon as possible, so could you make it later this afternoon? Huh. How about this evening? Yeah, okay. They got me on hold. He's gonna check with one of his guys and see if he can get somebody out here this evening. That'd be great. Caroline, why don't you have dinner with us tonight? No, I'm sorry. I'd be miserable company. Oh, we don't care about that. No, really. No, I got to thinking when you showed me the picture of your mother. About what? Well, about 
my mother. I have lots of pictures. She was quite the socialite, you know? Oh, you should see the clothes that she used to wear to the balls mm -hmm. and the charity bazaars. I'd love to. You're the one person who would, I think. Yeah, it's like you look at them when they were young and it's as if they're still here. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, what do you say about dinner? Seven o'clock sound okay? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, well, how do you like that? Tonight, actually, this evening isn't good for Miss Stafford. She had a change of plans. She's going to be having dinner with some friends. Tomorrow morning, bright and early. Hey, that sounds perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, see you then. Bye. All right, y'all set? All right, yeah, all set. So, 7 o'clock at our place, huh? Thank you very much for everything. Well, we'll have fun. We'll see you soon, okay? So long. Take care of that hand. Bye. Friends? I keep thinking about her going in the hospital, you know, her, uh... I remember how scared I was last time. Well, you and Marley have a lot riding on this. I know. It is okay to be scared, you know, to be nervous. Vince, if it doesn't work, she's gonna but go But if quick. it does, you just might be able to raise a family, you know, start a family. Look at the bright side. I'm trying. Well, it's not easy, huh? No, I mean, it's Christmas. No, no. That doctor you got is uh, great timing. Yeah, right. Molly's not even, I mean, she's not even crazy about hospitals anyway, but on Christmas, this... Yeah, it's a bad time to be cooped up in a hospital room. Thinking I should do something, you know? I mean, I don't know. Uh, dress up like Santa Claus or get a Christmas tree. I mean, damn, I just can't. I can't think straight now, you know? Well, maybe Mary and I should just stay here. No, Vince, you planned this trip to Washington. You're not going to stay here because of us, all right? No, 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 no. no. It's not just because of you. We've asked, uh, Pilar to stay for a few more days. Pilar's... Yeah, and, uh, I don't think Mary's gonna want to throw her out right before Christmas. And, you know, besides, the restaurant could get shorthanded. Vince, you are not staying here because of us. I mean it. Hey! Hey! How about... You let somebody do something nice for you once in a while, okay? It just may be. We may care about you and uh, Marley just a little bit, you know what I mean? I know, but... No buts! It's final. I know better than arguing with you when you get that tone in your voice, right? That's good. What now? Thanks again, man. Now, I'm only interested in Hampton Hills, the place near my friend's, my friend's place. Dr. Frame and his fiance. Uh -huh. Oh, she was such a pretty girl. Uh -huh. I never understood why they let that house go. Yeah, well, could we talk about my house? Is there any place that you have near Dr. Frame's? Oh, uh, you know, I think you're in luck. Oh. There's this one, right across from the one your friends were going to buy. Oh, right across Because the it's street. much bigger and more expensive. Well, I don't care about that. Living room, formal dining room, uh, custom kitchen, master bedroom suite. 1407 Knoll. It's loaded with detail. Frankly, it's the nicest one in the neighborhood. I want it. Would you like to look at it? No, I want to write you a check. Now, how much do you need for a binder, huh? Really? I'm terribly serious about things like this. Oh, well. My, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll get right on it then. Okay, terrific. Yeah. I'll, I'll call the owner as soon as I get back to the office. Oh, terrific. And you just call me whenever you need me to sign something. Yes, okay? I'll be in touch with you sometime tomorrow. Okay, and I really appreciate you stopping by. Oh, well, it was my pleasure. <laughs> I'm not sure I ever made such a quick sale. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, 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 Mom. Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, this is my mother, Donna oh. Hudson. Oh, how do you do? Hello. Hello. Oh, no, you're not the caterer, are you? Uh, no, I'm the real estate agent. <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll call you soon.
soon, Vicky. Okay, it was nice to have met you, Mrs. Uh, uh, Hudson. Yes, uh, you too. Uh, oh, so, did you get those announcements? Uh, uh, Victoria, what did you just buy from that real estate agent? A house in Hampton Hills. Hampton Hills? Mm -hmm. that, that little area west of town? It's a nice area, Mother. Yes, of course it's nice, but honey, it's middle class. I, I mean, you could buy a house anywhere you wanted to. Oh, this is exactly what I want. Well, I... Well, does Jamie know about it? I... Oh, he'll love it, Mom, really. It's a really great house. Victoria. What? This isn't it, is it? Oh, no, no, no. It's across the street from that one. Well, then why does this say... Jamie Frame and Lisa uh, Frame. Uh, um, you know, so tell me about the announcement. Wait just a minute. You're buying the house across the street from the house that Jamie and Lisa were going to live in? Well, well but... why in the world would you want to do something like that? What you have to understand is that I just get these feelings and they can be hard to interpret. Well, I wouldn't blame you if you were wrong or even if you didn't feel anything. Oh, you say that now. It would now. just be nice to hear something anything so I feel better about the surgery? Marley, what? I need to know, Lisa. Please. Okay. I'll try. Oh, thank you. Um, let me take your hand right. and I'll concentrate for a couple minutes. Okay. Getting anything, I, I guess I. Lisa, what is it? Lisa? Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing? I, well, I felt you. you uh, no, I, I thought I was getting an image, but it wasn't anything. Oh. I'm sorry. No, I I just saw you look uh, for a minute. I, I, I know. Um, you know, it, it might have been because you're Vicky's sister. Sometimes emotional things like that get in my way. Oh, I just saw your whole facial expression just change well, I, all I, I of know, a sudden. But it wasn't anything. Well, thank you for trying. I'm sorry you came all the way over here. Yeah. Oh, really? I, I'm just at this point where I'm, I'm grasping for straws and I. I really appreciate you doing this. I'd like to come and see you in the hospital. I, I would like that, too. Um, I, I, I'll be going. Okay. I'm really sorry that it didn't work. You know what? I feel better. For some reason, I don't really know why, but I really do. Great. Thank you again. Okay. So long. Bye. Bye. Thanks a lot. Just right on the table with you. Yeah, welcome. Here. You see Marley? I think she went to the library. Yeah, she's been reading everything she can about this uh, surgery. She's mm -hmm. pretty, pretty nervous about it. I know. Have you uh, talked to Vince? Yes, I did. And I absolutely agree. And we're not going away for Christmas. Right, but I want to make sure that you guys don't stay just because of us. Jake, yeah. we're staying because we want to be here. Okay? I should probably just admit that I am uh, scared to death. Yeah, you probably should. I'm scared to death. I am scared to death! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Laura. See what happens when you live in a house with a psychologist, huh? one doesn't smile much, huh? She will. I hope you do. See you around, neighbor. Thanks again. All right. Would you like to help me? No. I don't know what you're doing. Well, I'm going through these clothes. Take a look at them, sort them out. Anything that's still in good shape, I'm going to give to the church. Well, you, you mean you're just going to give this stuff away? Yeah, maybe somebody can use them. Are you kidding? Just like that. I have an idea. I think you and I should go shopping today. 
For what? For you. I think you need some stuff, don't you? I don't have any money. It's okay. I've got some. What do you say? I don't need no charity. I don't need anything. Lara, it's not charity. We could call it an early Christmas present. If you want. Great. I do. All right. I think this is full. I will take this out to the car. I'll be right back. You want to go, like, at 3.30 today? Sure. Thanks. No, we cannot drop this. Victoria, have you lost your mind? It's done, Mother. Well, then just undo it. I don't want to. I, I don't believe this. I mean, you want to live across the street from the house that Jamie and Lisa were going to live in. You want him to wake up every day and look out and see that house? Yep. Honey, you should be doing everything in your power to make him forget her. I want Jamie to think about Lisa. Oh, your mind has really been affected. I am going to make Jamie understand that his life is better with me. It's better, it's richer, it is fuller than any life he ever would have had with Lisa. And every day he walks out of our door, he's going to look over into that little house, and he's going to say, I am so lucky to have Victoria Hudson in my life. And the day he understands that is the day that he will be in love with me and the day that I am happy. Oh. Kurth spends the day with a soap star. One day with every Saturday night at 6.30. Part of the Saturday Six Pack.